Hey, hey, hey. Fellowship Greenville, what's going on? Welcome to FG Nightly. Myself and the lovely Josh Amos. Josh, where are we? We are hanging out at Jim's house outside next to his trampoline in his <laughs> man cave. Yeah, this is my uh, my dumpy redneck back porch. And uh, I'm glad that we get to do uh, COVID-19 during spring. If we had to do this during January, oh, it would be... How cold would that be? It would be If we had to do it in Ohio... <laughs> It would be <laughs> ridiculous. It would be weird. Josh had to do this because I have my Gamecocks flag, yep. and so he had to put his uh, Ohio State up here. Come on, just representing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how are how are your girls doing uh, with homeschool? Uh, so far, so good. We we've, we've got well. The, let's just be honest. The older two just kind of knock it out. They're just yeah. they're getting it done, and at least they say they're getting it done. And I have, I have really uh, no concern about that. My uh, youngest, uh, it's a challenge. Fourth graders, God bless <laughs> elementary school teachers. If you're one of them, you are a hero. Thank you for doing what you do. I'm excited for her to go back to school. It has been fun, though. Lisa and I have, uh, have enjoyed that experience. Um, so here's what we want to do for a couple minutes uh, this evening. We have thought a lot, whether on FG Nightly or in our messages or just in our ways of communicating on social media, we've thought and talked a lot about trying to do community at a distance. What we haven't talked about a lot, we have a little bit, is thinking about doing a uh, mission in this weird season and maybe even mission at a distance. So just talk to me for a little bit, Josh, about uh, what uh, are some of the challenges that our mission partners, our local mission partners are facing during this during this time? Yeah, absolutely. So as many of you may know, I do connections um, at Fellowship, and that's kind of been my, my thing until COVID-19 came, and I was asked uh, really – on the spot in the middle of a staff meeting, hey Josh, would you uh, transition to help with community engagement? You, and you can't say no in a staff meeting. No, you yeah. have to, yeah. Okay, I'm in Charlie. <laughs> and uh, so from then on, um, I've been learning and, and just kind of dialing up with Cassandra and Jana who, who do a lot with outreach already and have partnered with them. And I've been learning a lot about our local partners, our global partners, and just how um, our church interacts with them. And um, one of the first partners we were able to to work with was Miracle Hill, mm. and uh, we we got word um, from Ken Krutoff, who uh, who works as one of the vice presidents there at Miracle Hill, that they had big needs, and uh, they had needs to simply have supplies for the restrooms and uh, cleaning supplies mm. for the buildings, and uh, it was really cool. We were able to work with actually a local business owner who goes oh, to nice. Fellowship, Chad Alverson, with ISCO. And he partnered with us in Miracle Hill to be able to gift them um, lots of cleaning supplies and, and some uh, toilet paper in there. Toilet paper. There you go. Um, and we actually, our facility guys went around our building at Fellowship Greenville and just scoured a, a bunch of supplies, toilet so paper, paper towels, um, other cleaning supplies. So good. And we were able to get that all over to Miracle Hill. And that was like week one or week two, Yeah, uh, which was pretty cool. It's just we, neat to see all that synergy we, happen. Yeah, and we love our, our partnership with Miracle Hill. They just do such incredible gospel ministry. Uh, in the city here in Greenville and, and, and in the upstate. Yeah. Uh, name another uh, local partner we've been able to partner. So, uh, Pell Mill Village. We we're uh, if you're not familiar, it's a, a area of town that has a lot of underserved families. And uh, there was a guy there, Mitch, An old friend of mine, Mitch Miller. Hey, Mitch. And uh, he's you know he's on the ground making stuff happen. We were able to uh, we had some some people in the church get together like kids games and books and stuff like that. Mm. Put them in little kits. And we were able to donate those to uh, Pill Mill Village, Pill Mill Village, and then also we've had a um, a gal, uh, Candon, uh, who lives on the West Side. She knew of families on the West Side that just didn't have food. This mm -hmm. was week one or week two of this whole thing, and so we as a church uh, put out the uh, mm -hmm. the the plea for people to basically go <laughs> shop at both Harvest Hope or Walmart pick up food and deliver it to these families. I mean, some of these families didn't even know the food was coming and uh, oh, it just shows awesome. up on their steps. Uh, FG volunteers just showing up and saying, hey, uh, here's a gift for you from Fellowship Greenville, uh, enjoy. Yeah, and I love that all ministry requires presence mm -hmm. and nearness. You know, yeah. that's what the incarnation of Jesus is about, coming to be in the middle of our stuff. But uh, rethinking creatively what that has to look like has been really beautiful. Uh, we also, I believe we have a partnership and we're helping out some of our Prisma healthcare professionals. Yeah, so that like? yeah, that was kind of a, a unique partnership. We weren't sure how that was going to happen just because, I mean, they 
they have to stay quarantined even for some of them after their shifts and yeah. stuff. Um, so we were able to work out something. We we're able to uh, put together the women's ministry at uh, Fellowship Greenville, put together um, some, some uh, very nice little gifts for some of the nurses, about 250 of the nurses. So good. And uh, we were able to get those <laughs> to them um, a week or so ago. And so that was kind of a cool thing that uh, the women's ministry got to do in partnership with Prisma yeah. Health. Dude, I love it. I yeah. love, I love that we're being painted into a corner of reimagining freshly what it means to serve people and be on mission mm-hmm. and uh, serve God by serving people. Uh, uh, wh- one other thing I was going to mention. So the deacons. Okay. All right. So the deacons have done something pretty cool. We, we have some missionaries that have come home okay. and are retired in our community. You can't imagine, like, I know my grass is, like, growing like crazy now with all of this yeah. rain we're getting. So, like, all these deacons go to these missionaries' homes and are just knocking out all of their landscaping, pulling weeds, um, taking care of lawns. I mean, like, literally we said, hey, here's a need, and the deacons knocked it out. So, and, so good. <laughs> I love our deacons. <laughs> so thank you, deacons, for showing up awesome. uh, really bigly. So. Yeah, I love that. That's so, so good. Now... Our favorite way to uh, locally help and serve and uh, partner with local, um, some of our, uh, help with our local partners is that we we eat uh, <laughs> and they benefit. And this is yes. not a joke. No. Okay, we're doing Takeout Tuesday. Takeout Tuesday. So you eat food and our local partners get help. Tell yes. me about that. So we did it for the first week this past Tuesday, and. You guys showed up in droves. We had no idea Dude, what we to almost, expect. Like, we probably caused Rex on Woodruff Road. We did. We did. Tropical Grill. So, like, so many of you showed up. And you had great attitudes, and uh, it was awesome. It really was. Yeah. We ended up uh, <laughs> getting permission to send some of you over to Malden and still get credit for that. So we are going to be able to donate mm-hmm. a check of uh, $500 to Harvest Hope, and uh, that's going to supply to go, uh, more food. Evil for uh, Harvest Hope to be able to give away um, just because you chose a restaurant to show up to and be a part of that. So tomorrow we've got another restaurant, uh, actually three restaurants this time because you guys did so awesome last time. It is Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. So we've got three Mexican restaurants. <laughs> you can't, hey, you can't say no to this. All right, so Uncle Berto's at Five Forks. Uh, we got Salsaritas on Pelham. And then we've got La Paria, which is over there oh, yeah. uh, near Whole Foods and all that on Market Point. Sure. So three restaurants, go to lunch or dinner, let them know that you are there with Fellowship Greenville. Hey, just an idea, if you want to avoid the crowds, go like in the 4 to 4.30 hour yeah, if you're going for dinner. Or early lunch. Yeah, yeah you, can, you, do, you that. can do lunch. And who is, who is it like when we go there, who, who gets to be so, blessed by that? Right. So World Relief, which is one of our local oh, partners. Yeah. Natalie Trelitsky. Yep. Um, so they are going to be the partner that receives the, the benefit for this one. So get out there and Cinco de Mayo, right? Get some Mexican uh, food from <laughs> so Uncle good. Berto's, Salsaritas, or La Perilla. Dude, so, so perfect. So, yeah. so perfect. Now, uh, we've thrown a lot at you, and I, I do hope, I mean, minimally, that you're encouraged that, hey, we're trying to continue to partner with Jesus on mission just to love and serve and care for people in the upstate and trying to do that creatively. So give us three simple takeaways, three things that our people mm-hmm. can do as they think about mission. Gotcha. Take out Tuesdays. This is a great way to be on mission. You can go to uh, one of those restaurants I mentioned, Uncle Berto's, Sauceritas, or Lamparia. This Tuesday, mention Fellowship Greenville and World Help uh, benefits from that. I think number two, you can go onto the website. There's a, a little button on our, on our COVID-19 response page, and it says, I can help, and you can click that and you'll get updates on different things that our church is uh, promoting that you are mm-hmm. gonna be able to jump in and help with, like delivering the food to, uh, to needy families. Or we've got another opportunity coming up. I can't talk about it right now, but I'll just leave you in suspense. Um, that's gonna be promoted here very soon. Take up Tuesday. I can help. I can help. And the last one, I think just praying for our, our community engagement team. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got about nine of us on that group. And um, just that God would continue to, uh, allow us to see the opportunities around and respond well to those. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love working with that team. I always say some of the best people in Greenville County work at Fellowship Greenville, and uh, we've certainly enjoyed working well together. So Awesome. Well, yeah, we would love for you guys to keep those things in mind as we continue to think well about mission, and God give us the wisdom and grace and peace to do that well. Um, Fellowship Greenville, we love you guys a lot, and uh, we'll be back together soon in person where we could give each other high fives and hugs and stuff. So until then, see you guys. Much love. Bye.